so it is at night uh, here at uh, Rwanda and one impressive thing that uh, I'm actually talking about when I'm here at Rwanda is that I'm very impressed about the cleanliness, uh, how organized they are at the same time, the transport system. Okay, I just want to show you just a simple example. Like you see after the day, uh, after the day, we do the cleaning right now here in Kigali. And uh, as you can see, um, also on the other side, the transport system. We are talking about the government uh, buses, which are even more luxurious and more preferable as compared to the private ones. In Kenya, it will be something different. Maybe somebody will prefer, uh, will prefer maybe a private uh, means of transport uh, rather than the government one. But here is the opposite because they are very organized, very clean, very, you know, are very good, comfortable at the same time. So I want you to have a look at this bus, Jali Transport. Look at this. Look how they look. And tell me if you prefer this one or the private one. So this is what we are talking about when we say Rwanda is just in, the, or, uh, just in, uh, in another level. So up there next you can see the taxis. Who wants to, to board the taxis? Of course, everyone wants this. Look how they look. So another thing about people of Rwanda is that the way they are, the way they are organized, such a way that you know they are able to follow the lane. You know, uh, no um, disturbances and all that. So it's quite a beautiful experience here, just looking um, at how these people are doing their things here. So let me go on the other side. It's already, let me check. I've, I've not put uh, my watch, I've not put on my watch because, um, okay, it's 9-11 right now. 9-11, people are going at home, 9-11. 9-11 here, people are going at home. In Kenya, it's already 10-11 because in Kenya, they are one hour ahead. So it depends uh, where you're watching from. So I'm just, I was just having a random uh, walk here. I'd gone to buy water because I've not taken water or drunk water for, uh, since morning. So I just say, let me go buy some water and also get to see the nightlife of Rwanda. So people are getting ready, you know, they're going home or get, going to different destinations. So, and they are queuing actually, they're very orderly. That, that's one thing about the Rwandan people I've just come to realize. So they're very orderly. So, I was almost hit by a vehicle, that's all right. So let me keep sharing, so keep sharing, keep subscribing and um, I shall be sharing with you different stories from different parts of the world. Right now we are in Kigali, Rwanda. As you can see, uh, people are moving or going to different destinations because they've closed their day or just traveling to different uh, destinations. There, there is something that some, someone asked me the other day. That, um, is every lady in Rwanda beautiful? And my answer is as good as yours. So it is uh, it is how you view it. Beauty is all everybody has a way of viewing beauty, so I don't want to 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 share my opinion. Uh, maybe I've got a different opinion. So let me go. I'm looking for an outlet here, the one that uh, I used while entering this place so I want to use that to go to where I'm staying so here is a the bus station uh, Nyabugogo bus station uh, this is like uh, everywhere everybody comes to this place before they go to any destination if you want to go to Burundi come to Nyabugogo if you want to go to Kenya to Katuna uh, Katuna um, border you use here. Uh, if you want to go to Burundi, same, same and same to everybody. 
so uh, I was just showing you around uh, what is happening here tonight remember it's a nine it's almost going to nine so right now we're talking about maybe nine nine ten or so that is in the p.m. Huh? so yeah so here is the bus station here at um, Nyabugogo so uh, as you compare Nyabugogo with the other you can't compare the two with the other one that you know I showed you um, because the other one is uh, at the CBD and is more organized so you can't compare the two actually so this is what is happening here look how people look how people here are queuing and following the the lane Man, it's so amazing. So I'm not sure if these are the guys who do the cleaning or what. I've seen them for some time. That's the guy here. Okay, I, I think... I think uh, they are the towns here or just people helping uh, people if you want to go to a certain place. They look for customers uh, to fill the vehicle and then time to go so even here is quite uh, normal is uh, almost the same like Nairobi at night you can see people selling uh, different items here so I want to close and go to the other end so that I can be able to go I actually live in that building there. Uh, the building that you, you see that is with uh, some red lights there that's where I'm staying so it's not actually I, do, I don't like living far away from the stage because I'm a person who likes moving up and down so today we just uh, came to explore Rwanda we never came for a holiday so that's why I want to keep it easy peasy like a lemon squeezy so let's close so actually we have crossed um, this is not the right way to cross here because I've got a, a, a zebra crossing but you know I just followed the locals here if they're not using the zebra crossing then I'm not also using it so let me go and uh, have some rest actually uh, it has been a long day at the same time you know I've not made a lot of uh, content today simply because you know uh, it was raining heavily today so I did not get a good time to share as you remember on the other video uh, I've just uploaded uh, I uploaded the video on uh, YouTube you can see uh, I was still uh, recording while still raining because I, I, I wanted actually to create something for you I didn't want the day to end like that without creating any content for you so these are the trucks I think they're going to the border or so Ogize Kibazo Wahamu and something about interesting thing about Rwanda is that they use coaster bus they use coasters yeah? in Kenya coasters are used for tourists or any other country you know as we go there coasters are normally used for 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 you know by tourists or maybe conferences and those luxurious things yeah so Selling here bananas, mangoes, as you can see, just like any other city, maybe in East Africa. I just want to be specific with East Africa. Um, so it is like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, this uh, is a nightlife here at uh, Nyabugogo. As you can see, that's what as you go the other way there you're going to the cbd that is cbd kigali cbd so here we are like uh, in the outskirts uh outcast so uh hey that that word man help me to pronounce the, that word outcast of uh, kigali city in nyabugogo so he is like ngara in kenya for those who have been in kenya it's like ngara in kenya so we are living in ngara so um it has been a beautiful day so it's time to race time to to breathe time to you know 
rejuvenate so that tomorrow we create more content, tomorrow I can be able to share with you amazing things about this country. Alright, so I want to cross, I can see a cop there, I don't want to film uh, the cop, I don't want issues in this country right now. So, let me, let me wait, let me wait. Uh, you know, something, something that I want to share with you about Rwanda is that, you know, they're using uh, the right-handed and Kenya we are left-handed or left-handed or vice versa but okay we we don't drive on the same lane so this one you can see they're on the right in Kenya on the left as you can see it's a bit different so thank you so guys thank you thank you so much for joining our live session today and I'm going to sleep thank you it is nightlife here so guys continue subscribing continue sharing continue liking and i shall be moving to different countries in the world to share with you these beautiful stories so guys thank you we are in kigali rwanda have a beautiful night